This is a short video showing you how to access the equation editor in Blackboard. And uh, one thing I'll caution you about, this doesn't work well with Internet Explorer. I've never been successful with that. It works best with Google Chrome or Firefox, but Google Chrome has some new security settings, so you need to be sure that you've enabled things to load uh, that are not secure, or you may want to just try and use Firefox. But those are the two recommended ones. And Safari does not play well with Blackboard at all. So you're going to want either Firefox or Google Chrome uh, for doing this. So when you see a question that will involve your using the equation editor, you're going to get a text box that looks like this. And there's no indication that you have an equation editor here right now. Until you click on this lower arrow right over here. That expands your toolbar to allow you to do a lot more things and it comes with this WebEQ Equation Editor. So you want to click on this button and what it does is it opens up an Equation Editor in a new window. Now I'm going to expand this up a little bit so that we can see it a little bit better for us. I'm going to close this guy out and I'm going to make this equation editor a little bit bigger so that you see it a little bit better. And this is what it looks like. Now, what um, is important here is to note that you have buttons here with arrows at the bottom and there are pictures on these buttons that give you a hint about what kind of things you're going to find under those buttons. But like this button right here doesn't have a picture on it, it still has stuff under it. And each time you open the equation editor, those buttons will either have pictures or they won't, and it's very random, and it's something I cannot get them to fix. So it's a little frustrating. So I want to show you some of the ones you're going to want to pay attention to. The one you use a lot is going to be the very first button. And you pull on this, it allows you to do subscripts, superscripts, it allows you to do fractions, uh, radicals, square root, or some other root. It'll also allow you to do a division thing like this and set up your division problems. So when we do polynomial long division and things like that, you may want to know that that's where these things are located. All you're going to do is pull up the format you want. In this case, I'm going to enter an exponent, put in my x, arrow to the right, and put in my exponent. But then I'm going to arrow again to get away from what I just did. Now, if I want to enter a radical, let's say I want to put in the cube root of v, I don't know, I put in whatever my index is here, arrow over to enter whatever is going to go underneath the radical sign, and make sure that I come out with another right arrow to get out from under. If I want to enter a fraction, I just pull up the fraction that I'm interested in, and then I enter whatever that happens to be on the top. I can either click my mouse down to the bottom or arrow down to get my value in my denominator, and then I want to arrow to the right to get out from underneath. Now those are things that you use quite a bit. We will also use things like inequality symbols, which is th under this button. I can do less than, greater than, less than, equal to, greater than, or equal to. Um, those are about the only ones we're going to use for the inequality symbols. The other thing we will use will be plus and minus right here that you'll see. You might also want to use this circle when we get into composition of functions. So that's another piece that we might use. Under this symbol, down here on the very bottom, you'll find your symbol for infinity. So when we're doing interval notation and you have an infinity symbol that you need to put in, you can use it here. Once you have what you want typed in here with the equation editor, you need to hit submit and that will automatically put it into the place in Blackboard and it comes up and actually shows you what it looks like rather than the HTML tag you saw before. So that's how you would use the equation editor in this new Blackboard. Let me know if you have any questions.